Hello guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Guys, thank y'all so much for all the support on the Ark series. I have two of them running right now, the PvP series and the PvE series. And for those of you that are tuning into the PvP series and saying, man, the quality is bad, Z. Yes, it is bad. It's coming directly from Twitch, so it hasn't been rendered like this video that you're watching now. So expect some quality differences. I am going to try to run a higher bitrate when I do do that kind of stuff so that you guys do get better quality videos but the pvp stuff will never look as good as the pve series also the follow alerts and the overlays and stuff like that i'm going to have to take down there's going to be some things that i'm going to show like the song that's playing and stuff because i'm obligated to do stuff like that but as far as the followers and stuff i'm probably going to hide that so that the video is a little bit better quality for you guys that are watching at home so Without further ado, there's a couple things that I would like to do today. One, I've been playing around with poop enough, right? <laughs> and I said last episode I wanted to get some base building done. So that's kind of what I'm going to start gearing up for today. Today's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do anything extra relevant. What I'd like to do is form a few things, get some stuff ready. We're going to do a resource gathering episode, and we're going to try to put together a fabricator for the base. Now... Fabricate has been something that I've been needing for the base for a long time, and some of the base may not be exactly up to par. I have made a couple of changes, and you can see here I brought Joshua back. For those of you who are just tuning in, Joshua has been a <laughs> he's a longtime friend of mine, a shark that I tamed very early on. He's very low level. Since then, we've upped the server difficulty quite a few times, so I could get a much better shark. And I'd like to get a few sharks to kind of guard this area here because the coastline is ridiculous. Let me try to turn off the bloom and light rays and i don't think it matters it's just bright right now no i do not have gamma on some of you have saying like why do you run gamma and not torches um it's because i want you guys to be able to see well so i'm gonna do enough of that stuff in pvp but anyway let's go look at what i've done so far so the last couple episodes i've taken away some of the base uh stability and it's kind of crazy i decided to put my dinos up top one of my big brontosauruses was the tail was always getting in the way every time something would attack they would move around i hate to keep them on passive because i just don't want them to die uh so i put them on top of both here now this kind of scares me because the argentavises could come down here and kind of kill them and stuff like that so i'm thinking that i might install like an auto turret up top uh it would have to be platformed so it would have to be like put way up top a couple auto turrets that way anything that flies above them uh, would probably get hit and uh, it could not aim at them because it would be a little bit further down so hopefully they can fight their way uh, off if they was doing some damage but I'm not too sure how I'm gonna leave them right now their tails were just in the way so I decided to move them I've been having a couple friends namely Joe the private pirate and midnight designer that's been camping out over here while they're doing some stuff on the island and uh, and it just it gets kind of hectic sometimes so I'm just trying to make my way to them I want to do some dino pins as well, but I'm not too sure about the design yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. But what I was thinking about doing is getting a few more things done here. Namely, I would really, really like to put um, one of the fabricators up. Now, I've also been doing this. I have another preservation bin. Yes, this one is um, this one is a little damaged, but no worries. I have another preserving bin that I've been setting up, and it's because I'm making this stuff right here. This is prime meat jerky. So, prime meat jerky is made relatively simple. It uses some spark powder, it uses cooked prime meat, and it uses oil to make prime meat jerky. Now, this stuff can feed you really, really well. What I'd like to do is set up an array of uh, these jerky bins and every once in a while I could go out on Guamahave and do it as you can see it lasts pretty long I mean you're looking at 19 days right here that's really 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 long so I can store this stuff up quite well and it feeds you uh, really good I'm gonna let my hunger run out all the way and then I'm gonna eat one of these guys just to test it for you on camera I have a couple piece here I got regular cooked meat jerky and prime meat jerky here that I'm running and we're running a little low on oil. Not only that, but we're going to need some oil to not only make the fabricator, but we're going to need to run the fabricator or turn it into gas, along with electricity, which is another thing I'd like to do. I recently did that PvP series, and I saw some epic bases, guys, and I really, really, really want to play around with some of that stuff. So 
I want to get running water here. I want to get running electricity. And I also want to extend the size of the base, not only out, but up. So there's going to be quite a few things that change from here. I'd like to do some stuff in the water as well. There's just tons of stuff that I want to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is go try to harvest some oil. Now, I'd like to get a, a, a good feel. Last time I was around here, I went down into the water and we were looking for silica pearls, Slipgator and I, and I didn't see any, and that kind of bothered me. So I want to see if there's any down here yet, and if there isn't, we'll know that silica pearls do not spawn here. But I am curious to see whether or not I can get oil down here. And the last time, I'm pretty sure I did see oil. Now, I need to get an Ithy to ride around with as well, because Joshua isn't exactly the best taxi in the world, but he does what he's supposed to do. So I'm seeing some oil here. Let's see how much we can harvest from here. Let's go ahead and get off. I have the best pick that money could buy, or the best one on the server, in other words. And I'll go ahead and harvest the oil, and it looks like we got seven from it. Now, that's not that great of a haul, unfortunately. Let's move on a little bit further and see if we can get another couple of oil nodes and see what they do. Uh, let's see. And you see, that's what surprised me. Those aren't pearls. Those are just plants that you're seeing. So there's not a whole lot of stuff. I, I think that this area doesn't have too many resources. I see... Oh, that, I don't know what that is. That's a, a, a supply drop that come down that I'm seeing on the North Island. Okay, there's another thing of oil. Let's try the axe on it instead of the pick. And I'm going to see if I get maybe more oil from it. No, I'm getting mostly stone. Okay, so that's not the thing to do. Let's go ahead and throw that stone away. I know it's a waste, but we can always get stone. That's not a big deal. Okay, so didn't really get a whole lot of oil. I've also tried a little bit with the trilobites, and I haven't got a whole lot of success from them either. So I think I'm going to go up to the top and get my oxygen back. There we go. Ah, breath. Okay, we're also going to have to let Joshua's stamina increase a little bit. That's why Ithys are so good, because they're quick. They can't really fight, but since ever since they... Remember the patch they released a while back that, that kind of nerfed the shark spawns? Ever since they did that, the sharks really haven't been bad, and Ithys can get away from sharks like... I mean, <laughs> they can get away from them really, really, really easy. So Lazarus Stew down here, I could probably get a lot of oil. Uh, I mean... Honestly, I would like to get one of the big sea creatures. Um, I forget what you call them, uh, but I would love to get one of the big sea creatures. But I haven't, I haven't been able to go out to tame one of those yet. And I think those are kind of like team tames. I haven't seen where those are really easy to tame solo. Although the crossbows have been out for a little while now, so I imagine that would be a little bit easier since we don't have to really uh, do it from a cave. So let's see. And I know Slip has one. I'd like to get one myself. So let's see here. Let's form a little bit of oil. Okay, that was only 11. Well, it's a little bit better than nothing. Uh, let's see, how's my oxygen doing? Is that one more down there? No, it's not. Huh. It looks like I'm about out of luck. Well, we got enough oil to do the crafting that we need to do. But to form jerky is going to be a little bit different. We're definitely going to need to get an Ithy to where we can do that. Either that or one of the better creatures. But for now, I think an Ithy will do. So I'll be hunting for one as we kind of go around. And uh, when I see a decent... Oh, there's one right there. He's probably really low level though. Can I... Uh, it doesn't look like I can access it. Let's see. That is a wild male iffy level 8. Womp, womp, womp. Way, way, way too small. I need a good iffy. I'm going to look around a little bit, you guys, until I find one. All right, you guys. So while I haven't tamed <laughs> an iffy, look at this bad boy. Level 76. I'm going to try my best to tame him. Keep him out of the way of Joshua over there. And he's on me. All right, I do have flak, so yes, attack the turtle. I don't know how many trank arrows I'm going to need to tame this guy, but I'm going to do my best to tame him because he's level 76. I mean, this is going to be a big shark, and this will be uh, this can be a good guard for my base and my ithys whenever I get him. All right, how is my stamina holding up? Man, it is dark. It was foggy just a second ago. The weather is terrible for this. I gotta keep an eye on my stamina. 
gamma. I just used three. All right. We're close to the land. That way I can get my stamina back. Let's see, where's he at? He's way out there. Oh no, is he going after Joshua? Oh, that is not good at all. That is not good at all. Come on, Josh. That is not good at all. I need to get him out of there. I need to get him out. Joshua, let's go. Let's go. This is not good at all. I do not want him to take damage. <laughs> He's all I got right now. <laughs> so I need to get him out. All right. How far away is he? Okay. Stay on passive, Joshua. Stay on passive. Where is this guy? He's over there. Okay. Come on, big boy. I got your number. Oh, uh, I had Joshua on follow. Man, sharks are rough, y'all. <laughs> sharks are really, really hard. I know I'm starving. Okay, he's off a of follow. Try to get another arrow in this guy. Yes, aggro me. Don't worry about my shark. Level 76, man. I know you hungry. Don't worry. Ah. Uh, it's time you go to sleep, man. He's going to harass Joshua until he can't anymore. What's Joshua's hit points? Good. We're gonna let him. We're gonna let him take a little beating. Come on, man. Already sunk enough arrows into you. How's your hit points, buddy? Kind of rough, huh? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's give you a break. Let's give you a break. And give me a break all at the same time. Okay, we ready? Let's do it again. Where you at? Ah, there you are. Yeah, hit him again. Freaking trilobites, man. He's gonna stay after Joshua the whole time. Oh man, Joshua is low. Joshua is really, really, really low. I mean, half health is dangerous for a dino. Okay. All the way out here. I'm going to try to force feed him some meat right quick. Um, remote use. Get his health back up. Should take another stack. And let's do one more. Alright. Hopefully the Torpor hasn't dropped too much on that other guy. Come on, man. Oh, I missed him, I think. Joshua, you alright? One more lick. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh no, I don't wanna get grounded. Do not wanna get grounded. Man, how epic is this? Go until the stamina runs out. Turn around, let's do it again. Okay. I mean, I've stuck him with a lot of arrows, you guys. I only got five left. If this doesn't work, Crank, man. Two left. Unconscious. 
Oh my god, down to the last arrow, you guys. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, wow. Okay, so we're gonna need some prime. <laughs> I guess that's pretty evident. How close are we to the Northern Island? We aren't really close to the North Island. Okay. <sighs> Not even... I don't think we're even remotely close. Let's take a look at the map and see. Oh no, we've gone so far south. Okay, so what we're going to need to do, I guess, is get a couple of prime meat from somewhere around here. Let's go ahead and set Joshua off and follow so that he doesn't beach himself. And we'll come up here and see if there's anything that I can kill or give me prime. Not this guy, of course. All right. What do we have around here? Um, hopefully we have like some stegos or something. There's a trike. That ain't gonna cut it. Oh wait, what is that over there? Is that more trikes? I believe that is more trikes. Alright, I'm gonna go a little bit further inland and see what I... Ooh, there's something over there. Is that another trike? If we were by the mountains, it would be a little bit easier to tell. Because I'm familiar with that area. But I'm not familiar with this area at all. That is another trike. That is another dillo. Hmm. I might be out of luck. I might actually need to go shark hunting to get prime. Which is usually the right thing to do. I was just going to see if I could come on land right quick. Yeah. Nothing but trikes. As far as the eye can see. Back to the water. All right, you guys. I ended up going back for more Argentavas because I wasn't having luck, much luck finding sharks. So let me grab the prime that I've gotten so far. And a good few stacks of meat beyond that. And we're just going to speed tame this guy because it has been a while. Hopefully he is still out. It looks like he is. If he's not dead. Yep, he's unconscious. Okay, his food is down to 3371. Yeah, he's going to tame quick. Okay, we ready? All right. He is going to eat this very, very, very quick. Wow. <laughs> that was almost halfway done. So he's going to continue eating here. Five stacks of meat should do it. I don't think he's going to run low on torpor. At 36 levels with the taming effectiveness of 94.9. I think he's done eating for a while. Yeah, his food's at 39.59 now. So when he eats one more time, it'll go up again. That's good. That gives me a little bit more time to perform prime meat. I'm going to go out with Amber and find something else that we can feed it. Well, guys, prime meat is few and far between out here. But I did manage to snag a couple pieces. Off some stegos way deep in there. Uh, let's see. Amber, where are you going, baby? Let me grab a couple of prime. And quickly run it over. Well, I'm actually going to get grab another stack of meat here. Quickly go over to the shark. And hope that boosts its tame quite a bit. Where you at, baby? Oh, yeah. Still doing fine. Let's put another couple pieces of prime and make sure they line up just like so. Yeah, four minutes on both. Looking at... He should be able to eat them both. There you go, guys. Megalodon level 111. <laughs> um, and out of popular demand. Sharknado. I know it's cheesy, but so many people have asked over the series Sharknado. <laughs> that I decided to name it Sharknado. So, I'm going to make sure he's not following me. And I need to get a saddle for him in order to bring him back because Amberhawk is capable of following him, but he's not really capable of following Amberhawk and we're quite a bit away from home. Now, I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of stone 
and I made a mortar and pestle. But I'm also going to have to set up. I think I might have enough keratin and chitin on Amberhawk to do what I need to do. And I think she has a foundation on her as well. It's not thatch, it's wood, but oh, is that a ceiling? Oh no, we do have we do have that too. Okay. Let's do foundation just right here. That's fine. That's all we need. I wish you could place a mortar and pestle air anywhere, but unfortunately it doesn't allow you to. Eight. There we go. Mortar and pestle set up. Okay. So what we need now is we need to grab the keratin and chitin off of this guy. Where is it? There we go. Quite a bit. And we're going to have to put down stone as well because the recipe needs a lot of cementing paste. Uh, so let's see. Stone. Easiest way to get stone is probably just going to be to mine rocks around here. So let's grab... Let's grab these two. I need to eat too. Might as well just eat a few raws. It's going to kind of hurt my health, but no big deal. 70. I don't know how close to encumbered I am, but it's probably pretty close. Uh, <laughs> is that close? Okay, what can we drop off? We really don't need the metal, even though it's only two right now. And everything else we kind of need. I really don't want to get rid of anything else. All right, 24 stone. <laughs> I'm almost full. Okay, uh, let's get rid of something here. We could drop a few. That way we can at least walk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to get that stuff going and get a saddle, you guys. All right, you guys. This should be pretty interesting. Let's see here. So I'm going to take the hide. I've got the cementing paste. And I should have everything put together. Sarco saddle. Megalodon saddle. Missing a little bit of hide. No problem. Inventory. Craftables. There we go. Megalodon saddle. Craft item. Okay. Now, I've never really tried this before. It's just concept. But Amberhawk should follow. <laughs> should. Without drowning, I'm hoping. So, let's see. Let's put the, sh the saddle on Sharknado. And... Voila. Saddle. Okay. Get on Sharknado. Surface. I'll follow. Is she close enough? No. I'm going to have to get a little bit closer. She wanders off sometimes. Where'd she go? Is that her in the rock? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. All right. Come on, Amber. <laughs> it's time to head home. Okay. So, we should be pretty good. All right. Hopefully she won't lose stats. Let's, I mean, lose uh, oxygen. Let's check the stats. Health is 2280. Movement speed's only 100, naturally. Melee is 362. Still not an iffy like we wanted, but definitely a step in the right direction. Because poor old Joshua, he just wasn't cutting the mustard. <laughs> so we've got quite a bit of ways to go here, but it looks like Amber is going to follow us all the way, and that's what we needed. So we made it safe and sound to home. And you'll be happy to know that Amber Hawk is still with us. <laughs> she did not lose any oxygen along the way, so she's smart enough to stay above water, which is uh, which is pretty good because I was kind of worried about that. Also, I gained one level, and I went ahead and put it in stamina. So instead of getting an Ithy, I think Sharknado is going to be our main transportation because his stamina is going to be really, really good to swim around with. His speed will suffice. Uh, and if we do find a high-level Ithy along the way while we're using Sharknado to form, uh, then that'll work. But for now, we'll be able to get all the oil that we really need and get our main goal, which is to get a fabricator online. All right, you guys, I'm about ready to make the fabricator, but I wanted to show y'all something before the server gets patched and this gets updated. The uh, the server patch that we're about to go on is going to clamp the resources on the trilobites. And uh, Armitage just told me that melee damage was affecting their harvest rates. So I figured before the server actually updated, I would show you. Uh, Guamahave has 839% damage on melee, right? So if I attack these trilobites, let's see. Oh my god, 10 silica pearls, 24 silica pearls, 60 oil, 
Oh, man. I'm going to have to form up a little bit of this stuff before I actually accept the fate of the update, I think. <laughs> That's crazy, man. So, there's two of them. 13 oil, 42 oil. Wow. Yeah, they really need to nerf this because this is crazy. But I'm going to grab some while I can, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just going to make my way around the island, do this for a little bit. I just thought I would show y'all because it's about to get patched. And um, then we'll come back and we'll put the, uh, the fabricated together. All right, you guys. Making significant progress. We're ready to go. I formed up a bunch of that stuff. And it's all still on Guamahavi, so I'll sort through it later. But I really just want to make this fabricator and set it right now. So structures, crafting, fabricator, craft. And I should still have plenty of gas. There we go. All right. Now, I think I'm going to place this, like, right here. That would probably be the best place for it. Actually, I might as well place it right here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, right here is fine. Right here is fine because this is no longer going to be a deal. Sooner or later when I get into more of a base design, I'm going to have a loading dock put together that's a little bit easier to access than this. You know, I might even have the, uh, the, the station, the furnace station and the crafting station above where I can access it a little bit easier. So let's see. Now that I have that, where did I put my gas? That's a good question. There we go. Plenty of, plenty of, plenty of gas in here. I'll go ahead and access it there. All right. Now to rip repair I've, I've been dying my stuff green as well i'm not finished dying i think i want to go with like a green and orange look but uh the first thing i need to do is fix my helmet uh actually fix all of my stuff so let's see this is gonna take hide fiber and metal ingots i got that uh where can i find hide easiest place to find hide would probably be on guamahavi Oh, yeah, plenty of hide. And I've got plenty of fiber on there, too, actually. And, of course, I have metal ingots. So I went up to the mountain just a little while ago, and I got a ton of them. So I'll put that in. And the hide in. And I'll grab some metal ingots as well. There we go. Turn on. And repair. Nice! <laughs> Set up with a fabricator, baby. Awesome. <laughs> cool, man. Well, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. You can also subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. I just put out the episode or episode two of... Uh, Hurt World just came out today. That's a new closed alpha survival game that I'm playing. And also, I'm doing the PvP stuff for the live stream footage for episode, well, server number 356, the public server 356. I got into some crazy adventures, so you guys can check that out for more ARC content. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.